Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about five things that I think are totally worth your money from a luxury perspective. So recently, um, as some of you might know, I have started my own business, funneling a lot of my money into my business. It is a startup, so I do really need to reinvest my profits into the business so that it continues to grow. Um, because I'm not shopping and I just want to uh, scratch that itch kind of thing, um, I want to talk about um, how you guys can go shopping. And I want to help you guys kind of start your uh, collection, your luxury collection, or kind of um, help you guys focus on particular items that I think are totally worth your money. You know, no matter what your situation is, whether you just want to dip your toe in the luxury market a little bit, or you're thinking, well, I have, um, I, I want to splurge a little bit, but I'm not quite sure where to splurge and what's the best kind of value for money. Um, hopefully this video will help you guys and I can just live vicariously through you. So please do sound off in the comments below. If you end up shopping, you buy something, let me know what you think are really good value for money items when it comes to the luxury segment. And also please don't forget to like and subscribe. So the first item that I think is totally worth the money and somewhat affordable in a luxury segment, so I'm talking under a thousand dollars, perfumes. Luxury perfumes. I think that they are totally worth the money because a lot of the time you have perfumes um, with the, in the luxury segment they're gonna, that are going to last you all day long um, and they will smell unique, they'll smell fresh. You have a lot of the, I guess, um, high street brands. In my opinion, some of them, yes, do last a long time um, and some of them are unique, but for the most part, a lot of the time they seem very generic, they smell very generic. Of course, there are always exceptions to the rule when it comes to any item. It doesn't matter if it's perfume, if it's clothing, if it's shoes, there are always gonna be, um, you know, those items that are very inexpensive and work as well as luxury items. But obviously for this video and you guys, a lot of the time I know that my audience, you've clicked onto this video because you enjoy luxury. And there is a certain je ne sais quoi that comes with buying luxury. I guess for some people as well, for me, there's a certain accomplishment that comes with being able to reward yourself with the luxury version. My personal experience is that luxury perfumes I have had much better experiences with. My current two favorites are the Rose Devant from Louis Vuitton and the Twilly de Hermes from Hermes. And it's specifically the Ujinja version. Um, and so the Ujinja gives a certain spice to it and it gives a certain uniqueness. Both of these I spray on in the morning before work at 8 30 9 o'clock and I will come home at 7 p.m. and I will still be able to smell it. I'm gonna be honest I haven't come across at least for the Ujinja a cheaper one a more sorry a more inexpensive one that smells like this and that also performs as well. So I do think it's worth investing I would say actually stay away from perfumes like Chanel number no. five and, and things like that because they're so popular nowadays that it's kind of become generic in a way. Go to perfumes and brands that have something unique to offer that is, that is not as popular. Louis Vuitton, very, very new to the perfume industry. Hermes, not so new, but they're such, not strange, but they're such unique fragrances that I don't think a lot of people will have. And I really think that it's just a really good way um, to kind of stand out from the crowd and reward yourself if you're looking to buy something luxury. And I totally think it's worth the money. The next item or the next category of item that I want to talk about in terms of what's really worth your money to spend from a luxury perspective is luxury makeup. I think specifically luxury foundation. Um, so with skincare, I think if you get a more inexpensive brand, because what you're really focused on is the active ingredient from a scientific perspective, I think that's really sufficient for every, for, for most people, right? So that's why I want to talk about luxury makeup, specifically foundation. In my opinion, I think getting a bottle, one bottle, or if you feel like splurging, two bottles, 
of luxury um, foundation specifically is so worth the money. So, um, I think the best thing to do is to get two bottles, one that has really full coverage for those like special event nights or days. Um, so in my case, I have the Dior Prestige La Microfluid Tint de Rose, and this is an incredible foundation. Every time I wear this foundation, everyone's like, you have glassy, perfect skin. It's incredible. If you have a really good base, the rest of the face just comes together. You're definitely going to find $70 to $80 foundations that will perform just as well. But a lot of the time with the luxury foundations, you also get the benefit of skincare. You get that secret ingredient in the skincare. And so that's why you can focus on active scientific ingredients on your skincare and get that, um, you know, secret ingredient skincare in your uh, makeup, in your foundation. So this one has the, uh, the rose the rose kind of secret ingredient, which is in their Dior Prestige line. If you get, for example, the Sisley foundation, so this was like 200 bucks. If you get the Sisley foundation, which is also $200, you'll get the Sisley secret ingredient in the foundation. And I really do think it's worth it. All right, guys. So the next item that I want to talk about are for those people that want to stand out from the crowd, want to spruce up their outfit, want to snazz it up a little bit from a fashion perspective. What I'm talking about is actually shawls and scarves, luxury shawls and scarves. Now, again, this is under a thousand dollars. A lot of the time, I mean, maybe shawls, especially the silk cashmere ones from Louis Vuitton are not under a thousand. I think they're like, 1200 these days with price increases, but you can get cheaper ones like this one, which is um, also Louis Vuitton. Um, and this was, I think, $880. So it was under a thousand and it's just a scarf. Um, and I think that these are totally worth the money. The really great thing about shawls and scarves is that you can wear whatever it is you want to wear, whether it's H&M or Zara or, you know, um, something from your local boutique. You just add a little pizzazz by having this luxury designer scarf or shawl on top. And it really kind of elevates your entire outfit. It makes you look a million bucks. It really does. And it's just so effortless as well. Um, a lot of people do have complaints that it's very delicate, especially Louis Vuitton ones are very, very delicate. So you could go with maybe an Hermes one or a Chanel one or a Dior. There are so many luxury brands out there that do incredible scarves and shawls. It really does elevate your outfit. The rest of it doesn't, you don't have to buy you know, luxury clothes like me. You don't have to buy luxury handbags. If you are just dipping your toe in or if you would rather spend your money on other things like holidays and making memories with your family and friends, go and do that. But, but sometimes you do still want to look really nice, really put together. And a luxury scarf um, or a luxury shawl will do that for you. It's minimal effort. It's just incredible. And actually, I think between a scarf and a shawl, I actually prefer the shawl. It's a lot thinner, but it still traps the warmth in. You can wear them loose around yourself. You could just have it slightly loose, you know, and then you could wear it during, you know, autumn and spring. You're not limited to just winter. And so automatically this becomes useful for nine months of the year. Um, you know, for like the cooler months, you can then just tighten it up right around your neck and then a trick I do is like I tie it on the bottom here as well so it kind of like doubles up the thickness here and really it's just so much insulation and it, it performs just as well as a thick woolly scarf. Designer shawl is so good and you just spruce up any outfit that you're wearing very effortlessly as well. The sure. next item that I want to talk about, the next category of items that I want to talk about that I think are totally worth the money when it comes to luxury. Perfect for those people that are just looking to spruce up their outfits, looking to, um, you know, take it up a notch, but not have to spend so much to buy designer jackets or anything like that. And also staying in the fashion category is costume jewelry. When I say costume jewelry, I don't mean just any old costume jewelry. What I want you guys to be looking for is the quality gold plated or 
palladium plated jewelry. Valentino or Versace or any sort of those luxury brands that do costume jewelry that have gold plated costume jewelry, that's what you want to go for. Don't go for things like the plastic Chanel brooches. Even the Louis Vuitton brass and crystal costume jewelry is actually not too bad because it's still a really good um, metal. And so costume jewelry is a really good way to elevate your outfit, to make it look more expensive and you kind of look more put together. All this gold color that you see is gold plated. It is actual gold plated. Same thing with the necklace. And if you followed me for a while, you will know that I am like this necklace is, necklace is one of my favorites and it is gorgeous. It's not gold colored hardware, it's gold plated. And I think it's totally worth it because you're getting the quality of fine jewelry. So fine jewelry are things like actual gold, palladium, you know, precious metals um, and precious stones. So like sapphires, rubies, diamonds, emeralds, things like that. And that's the thing, like you get costume jewelry with real precious metals, um, but you get them from Hermes at costume jewelry prices. This I think was about $720 I got. And this I got secondhand um, for like 300 bucks, but brand new, um, this would have been only like 900 and something. So it's still under a thousand costume jewelry prices, but you get precious metals. It's pretty good. Um, so that's why I think in this sense, this specific kind of costume jewelry is definitely worth the money. Last but not least guys. So I've rambled on quite long enough. We're almost there. Last but not least, the final category of item that I think is totally worth the money from a luxury perspective is specifically shampoos. Now, the reason that I think shampoos are worth it is because you could have perfectly done makeup, an immaculate outfit, but if your hair, even if you've styled it with hairspray, hair straightener, whatever it is, but if it's dry, brittle, you've got split ends, it doesn't look healthy, or it's greasy, or this or that, you are just going to not look great. You can have no makeup, you can just be t-shirt and jeans looking very casual, and if your hair is gorgeous, it is sleek, it is beautiful, it's healthy, it's luscious, you're gonna feel fantastic, and people are gonna see you as being fantastic. It is such a big factor. And so getting or investing in quality shampoo is so, so good. And it wasn't until, um, you know, a few years ago that I switched over to luxury shampoos because I was like, I just wanna spruce things up. I wanna make my personal shower experience, like feel like a spa, right? Um, and I thought getting some luxury shampoos would do that. And it totally did, which is by the way, another benefit. So not only do you get luscious, healthy hair from quality shampoo, um, the experience of it as well, when you're showering is fantastic. You will feel like you're in a spa and it's actually in the grand scheme of things, not that expensive. You know, when we're talking about eight, $900 for this, or $400 for perfume, or $200 for foundation, you know, luxury foundation. This is really not that expensive in comparison. Um, so the next one that I'm gonna be trying is actually um, Uwe, or Uwe, I think, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the Detox Shampoo. And the reason that I'm gonna be trying this one is because summer is coming up, and so the sun is gonna be blasting, it's going to be like, you know, a lot of heat, a lot of UV, it's going to dry out my hair. And so this is going to be nourishing and I'm going to be putting products in my hair as well. Um, you know, like I will have extra sunscreen. And so when my hair hits my face, it's going to like grease it up. Um, I'll also put like, you know, hairspray or gels to kind of like moisturize and hair masks and stuff. And so the detox shampoo is going to really help with cleansing all of those chemicals from my hair um, and leaving it very naturally nourished. And that's it guys. So that is um, my five items or five categories um, of luxury products that I think is totally worth the money. 
Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comments below if you have a particular item that you think is worth the money that um, I didn't mention, or if you think I'm totally wrong on one of the ones that I've said, let me know because I love interacting with you guys. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.